In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can buy and sell stocks on Robinhood and how you can get stocks for totally free. Welcome back everyone, my name is Nate and I'm here to help you master your money. So if you are a beginner when it comes to buying and selling stocks, well, you're in the right place. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to step-by-step -step use the stock trading app Robinhood and how you can get free stocks for yourself just for signing up for the app. And so if this is something that you wanna learn more about, check out the link in the description below. There's gonna be two of them, one's for Weeble, one's for Robinhood. They will both give you free socks if you follow the instructions that they give you. So without further ado, let's get right into the video today. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to my phone and show you how to use the Robinhood app step-by-step, -step, how to buy and sell stocks, and how to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm if you'll be so kind as to do that. Thank you. But with all seriousness, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so now that we're over here on my phone, we're gonna go ahead and get going with the tutorial. So as you see here, uh, this is um, my little uh, dashboard here I have brought up. And so uh, you can go down and see the various things that you are bought into in this section down here. Um, additionally, you'll have lists of some of the stocks you decided to save and uh, that you can look at for later. So I have those saved right here. And so this account for me here is is primarily just for fun. Um, I have most of my capital in another account, but so here I have some money in Bitcoin, and that's doing uh, pretty good um, since I purchased some uh, a couple weeks ago. So we're doing pretty good, up thirty percent on that. Um, yeah, so this is the home page of Robinhood, and you can actually go to different, different tabs here at the bottom. So if you look at the bottom part of your screen, you're going to see a few different things. So this is going to be your dashboard for Robinhood, and now there's something you're going to want to do when you come into Robinhood. If you want to start buying and selling stocks, you're going to need to have some money in here to work with. So with that said, we're going to need to go over to the tab on the far right, which is a little person looking thing. Click on that, and you can come over here. Now, if you want to make a deposit, you're going to want to go to an option that's right here that says transfers, deposits, and withdrawals. You click that, and then with this top option here, you can go ahead and transfer money to your account. So you come in here, and you decide how much you want. I'm going to do $50 just for right now. I'm going to review that, and then I'm going to click submit. So it takes a few days to finalize, but this is a cool thing that they do. They allow you to instantly use the money that you have. So this is a little message camp here letting me know you can use the $50 to invest even though it hasn't cleared your bank yet, which is fantastic. So now if we go back to the main page, we can see that my buying power is $50.03. Previously, it was just three cents. So now we can go ahead and we can go buy a stock. So we have lots of options for going and buying a stock, but to look at some of the ones that have been having a lot of activity in the past couple days, we're gonna go over to the little magnifying glass at the bottom, and then this is gonna be the explore or search page. And so once you're here, you're gonna get news updates on all the stocks that are having a lot of activity, uh, anything that's going on that could affect the market. All of this is gonna come through here, and they're gonna update you on a lot of really important information. Uh, so right now in the US with um, vaccines potentially getting uh, approved and put through, those things are, you know, big news. And so those would show up on this page here. Um, and the companies that are tied to them would be, their ticker symbols would be tied to them too. So if you want to go ahead and invest in them, if you saw some good news or bad news, whatever it is, you can go ahead and start investing. This thing shows what companies have had the most change in value over the last day. And uh, it's super, super handy. I like this section here because it's a really great way to see the companies that are having a lot of volatility uh, in the past day or so, um, and that can be really good. So if you have a company you've been wanting to buy into, but um, their stock price has been really, really, really high, well, this will let you know the companies that have big drops or gains in their stocks. So this will show us the highest percentage change was what showed here. And so let's say, let's find a stock that's got red. Yeah, so let's go to RX here. Um, GoodRx helps people save on, on uh, pharma, uh, pharmacy stuff and their free service, and they're great. And so they had their IPO just a couple weeks ago, I think. And so if I was looking to buy them, but I thought they were a little overpriced, this just tells me now they just dropped in 20, 
25%. But, you know, you got to ask, well, why did they drop 25%? And so uh, when you bring up uh, the stock here, you'll show the ticker symbol up here, the name of the stock, its current value, um, its total daytime performance, and then after hours performance, so after the market is closed, that's what that indicates. And so you'll come here and you can see the line that goes uh, across the screen. That's kind of indicating where the value has been throughout the day. And then you can go by week, and then by month, and then three months. Okay, so it wasn't a few weeks ago. It was actually like two months ago when they had their IPO back in September. So they're down quite a bit um, from their original price. And then if you move down here, you can see some numbers here, and I'll kind of explain what these are. So the open number here, this is going to be the price of the stock when it started out the day. And the number that's sitting next to the word high here, that is going to be the highest value the stock reached throughout the day. And then the low, alternatively, is the lowest price the stock reached throughout the day. So this kind of shows you uh, where things have gone and um, where things have been. And so if we come down to the 52-week high and then 52-week low, what this means is simply in the past 52 weeks, the absolute highest high was $64.22 at the absolute high for the value of the stock. And the absolute low for the same period of time was $36.02. And now you may be questioning, well, why on earth would I want to buy a stock that has lost money as of just today? If I don't want to buy a stock that lost 22% in one day, ultimately the whole purpose with investments is getting more out of it than what you put in. So my goal with this would be to buy it as cheaply as I can, and then at some point sell it for as much as I possibly can. So being that the stock is, you know, down 20%, I mean, unless the company didn't go bankrupt, because that would be a real bummer, um, but I could buy into this, and I would be getting a big discount over if I was to buy it yesterday. So this is one little neat thing here to kind of help save you a little bit of money and give you a little bit of extra opportunity to buy a few more shares of a stock. And now here back in the stats section, we can see the volumes. This is going to be, so this is me for yesterday. So they had 23.14 million shares being bought and sold. Typically though, they only have about 3.81 million being bought and sold. And so below that is MKT cap, and then actually it stands for market cap. And what that means simply is all of the shares that good rx has outstanding so that just they have shares out there that multiplied by the current share price gives the market cap so when they say a company is worth 10 billion dollars what they really mean is all their outstanding shares multiplied by their current share price gives them that number now, that's one method of valuation there's many others but this is the one for this example that i'm going to be going with Okay, so moving down, we are in the news section now, and we're actually coming down to some news, and I think this news is going to be the reason why uh, GoodRx had a little drop recently, and if you look, it says, how bad is Amazon Pharmacy for CVS and Walgreens? And so if Amazon were to open a pharmacy, which I'm sure they would because they've kind of run everything right now, um, this would actually be bad news for GoodRx because I'm sure they're going to undercut everybody, and the whole purpose of GoodRx was to help people save money, but people are still going to be going to the store to go get prescriptions and stuff. So I do think GoodRx is going to be around for a good long while. I just uh, I do think that Amazon will encroach on some of their business. So um, I do think I would still buy this one. And I actually am going to buy this in just a second. I just want to show you guys how this all works. So now we're moving on to the earnings section. And you can actually see how things were in the Q3. And that's going to go from June until August. And so it looks like in that period of time, they expected you to get back $0.08 cents per share share but they got back nine cents per share of earnings and that's good that came in over what they thought they were going to be at and so that's a really good uh, indicator even though it was one cent when a company is new any kind of earnings is good so back up at the top you can kind of see how they've been performing over the past day and it's not been super ideal but if you look back at historical trends and kind of see where things are at, you can see that they jumped up after their IPO. And if you don't know, IPO means initial public offering. So their stocks were first offered as a publicly traded company on this day on September 23rd, according to Robinhood at least. And they came out with an IPO price of $33. So it started out about $33 and then it came up to the 50s in between, uh, let's see, like 55, 50, 52, 57. Yeah, so it came up pretty high here. And uh, when companies first go public, there's a lot of hype around them. And so their price will 
go up pretty high too. And so you can kind of see here that this is exactly what happened to GoodRx and then things kind of petered off down here and got more normalized. And so I think I may actually not buy into this stock specifically, but um, I, this is a really good example um, just show, kind of showing how IPOs affect stock prices and over time how crazy fluctuations can happen. So, so that is going to be that for that stock. And now we're going to go back to the browse section and I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to go ahead and select this thing at the top here under the popular list heading and it says 100 most popular and I'm going to click that and this is going to bring up the 100 most popular stocks currently bought and sold on Robinhood. And so you can see we have big names like Apple, Tesla, Ford, uh, GE, Microsoft, American Airlines, uh, Disney, a lot of solid uh, companies. Another great share here is going to be Disney. I know you've all heard of them if you haven't, even living under a rock. Um, and you can see that they have consistently posted uh, really solid gains uh, for quite a while. And they were all the way up here at 141 before uh, the plague, the drop of the plague. Uh, so that's a big jump right there. Um, but Disney's a really incredible uh, consistent stock to own. They do have a small dividend of a uh, 0.61% yield. So that's going to gen generate a few bucks a year for you. And if you have a bunch of these shares, that's going to be more and more. So that can really help you out. Uh, but Disney is a great company. And so I'm actually going to go ahead and now I'm going to use Disney as an opportunity to show you how to buy a stock on Robinhood. So you see here on this page, there's a little green button right here. It says buy. And so simply you click buy and it brings up the option to buy. And so now there's a few things we need to consider here and look at. So first of all, if you look at the top left-hand corner, you'll see buy DIS, which is the ticker symbol for Disney. Beneath it, you're going to see a dollar amount. That is how much money I have to work with. Now, if you come back over here and you look at the market price, you're going to see 145 for Disney. Now, I know that I cannot afford this. I don't have enough money to buy it right this second. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put it through just so you can see what happens, okay? So I click review, and this is going to say I don't have enough buying power to make this order. So what this means is I need to do one of two things. Either I need to go get more capital and deposit that, or I need to do what's called fractional trading. So I know that sounds really advanced, but simply what you want to do is go to the top right-hand corner here. So over here, originally we were buying in shares and we don't want to do that because we don't have enough money to buy an entire share. Even though we can do fractional shares, I think it's going to be easier if we just go ahead and do buy in dollars. So I'm going to select the top option here. Now it gives me the option to enter a dollar amount for how much I want to buy of Disney stock. And because I have $50 in here, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put $40 into Disney. And now that's here. It's confirmed. I have 0.275 shares of Disney for $40. I'm going to go ahead and swipe up to confirm that. Fantastic. That order got queued. So now, right now, currently, it is after hours. It's it's early in the morning and the markets are not open yet. But once the markets open up, this order will be executed and I will have purchased $40 of Disney stock. And then so if I wanted to go ahead and sell a stock and I'm going to go ahead back over to my main page to show you how to do that. So I've had quite a bit of luck with uh, Bitcoin recently. and I'm going to sell just a teeny bit just so I can show you the principle of how this works. I don't want to take out a whole lot because I'm trying to save all that. So I'm just going to go down here to my cryptocurrencies. And now if you see here, the stocks are labeled differently from the cryptocurrencies. So you'll see cryptocurrencies are down here. They're in the yellowish green color. And the stocks are going to be up here. They'll be either red or green. So I'm going to click on BTC, which is Bitcoin. And then I come in here and I see that the price here is at the top as well. It's all familiar. We kind of remember what this looks like. And so coming down here, we can see that I have gained uh, $267 in this, which has been pretty great. Now I'm going to go ahead and sell off $10 of this just to show you how this all works. So I'm going to go ahead and click the sell button down here at the bottom and this is going to bring up the transaction window and so I can go ahead and set any amount I want to sell so I'm going to go ahead and put in ten dollars and I'm going to go ahead and sell this so what you go ahead and do is you enter how much you want to buy or sell and then simply you press review and then it will give you a minute to look it over once you're satisfied with what you see here then you can go ahead and swipe up to submit and there we go. I sold $10 of Bitcoin. One of the cool things about Bitcoin is they're not currently on the stock exchange market. And so you can buy or sell them any time of day you want to and instantly get things sold and purchased.
So I am going to click done and this is bring me back to the main page. So I have $10 less in my Bitcoin account. So if you go back to the main thing here, so you can see here that my buying power is $20. Remember that we started out with $50 and then I went ahead and bought $40 of Disney, which brought us down to $10. And then I went and sold $10 of Bitcoin, which gave us a total now of buying power of $20. So that has been a quick tutorial of Robinhood, how to use this, how to buy and sell stocks on it. I really hope you like this. And so if you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post multiple times a week and it's all for your betterment. So that would greatly help me out as it helps you out too. So with that said, let's get back to the main camera and we will continue this video. So that is it for me, guys. That is how to buy and sell stocks using Robinhood. I hope you guys liked it. And if you liked the content today about how to buy and sell stocks, please check out the links below. They will give you free stocks just for signing up for a new account. With Robinhood, you'll get one free stock. And with Webull, as of right now, you'll get three free stocks for signing up when you deposit $100 to the platform. And these stocks, two of them can be valued up to $1,600 each. But at minimum between Robinhood and Webull, the minimum amount of value you're going to get is $31 of free stocks. If you just sign up, follow the instructions they have, it'll give you literally free stuff. How many YouTubers are giving all their people free stuff? I do. So guys, please enjoy that and I will see you guys uh, next time. Bye.